Hi, everyone. This is Sam Silverman, managing partner of EB5AN. Um, today, we're going to be chatting with Mohan Kumar, uh, the father of an EB5 investor in our Twin Lakes Rural EB5 project. Um, we'll cover a number of questions about the project and Mohan's experience um, participating in the EB5 uh, investment program uh, and working together with his immigration attorney uh, to ultimately fund his son's uh, EB-5 green card application. Uh, so Mohan, thank you very much for agreeing to, to share your experience with everyone. Um, one, one of the most important things that we focus on at EB-5AN is investment transparency. Uh, and part of that is having our clients uh, share their experiences um, with uh, future clients who may be considering making an EB-5 um, visa visa investment. Um, so with that, um, can you introduce yourself and kind of share a little bit about your professional background, where you're living, uh, and then you know talk to us a little bit about why you decided to explore an EB-5 investment for, for your son? Thank you very much, Sam. Uh, I am Mohan Kumar. I am uh, currently based in Lagos. I am the director for Dangote Refinery project. It's a prestigious project here. I'm here last 10 years. Uh, of course, I have a long career. Uh, my son is in US actually. He currently is on his uh, STEM and after STEM is on the CPT. And uh, he has tried the uh, H1B to his employer four times. All the four times he didn't get it. So sometime last year, then uh, he decided that why not we look at this option because I heard this option uh, of EB5 investor route uh, green card uh, a couple of years ago when my brother who's in Miami he also talked about the more time. So he was talking about uh, a condominium project in Miami. So anyway that was a long term back. So then uh, last year then we restarted then he decided yes let's do it. So we looked at the funds uh, what is it that uh, we can look at because uh, when you look at the funds, uh, the limit was uh, minimum requirement raised from 500,000 to 800,000. So that was uh, one of the features. So first when we looked at that and when we decided, yes, uh, we'll be uh, able to do that. And then we went ahead, yes, now we go for EB-5 from the sun. Uh, initially, we did have another friend who was also uh, going for EB-5 to a private project, which I never knew about what, because I was not very familiar with this EB-5 uh, details. And I, we said, we thought we'll go with him. But somewhere they delayed, I mean, then I was not very clear because we did meet many attorneys and uh, many consultants. So finally, I decided to let me do it on my own. And uh, so last year we started the search in August. That's all. We went on, uh, both me, my wife, and Aditya, my, all of us, uh, Wanted to research more and get uh, got more information about this. So that's how we started the EB5 journey. So if I want to tell you about why we decided on the uh, this project and also on uh, uh, EBS and uh, see what we did is that we did a Google search like as most uh, do. We did a Google search and we talked to some of the friends who also knew uh, some of them uh, were aware about it. And with all that information, I uh, we zeroed on on four uh, regional centers, and um, then when we looked at, finally we came to only about three of them, and uh, then we said so there are two aspects very important for us our objective. One was getting the green card, and second one was security of investment because we wanted the investment back because basically I was uh, the entire amount and was supposed to return uh, hopefully back. So it was so it, they, these are twin objectives. So when you look at these twin objectives, both are important. Then we said for that two important aspects are required. One is you have to have a good regional center and you have to have a very good project. So if you have both these, then that will ensure that. And this has to be knitted by a uh, attorney. A good attorney is required who can uh, knit the requirements of uh, the USCIS uh, regional center and our requirements. So that the somebody who understands all. So these are uh, three which we uh, came to. Then we looked at, uh, uh, in fact, we looked at, then we started looking at the projects because now 
projects are important every any project what we thought should be viable on its own and it should be able to return the capital the project is going to fail is a problem at the time uh, one important input my brother gave because two years ago there was a condominium project in miami which he had suggested to do that project had failed so it did not take off so so that was a very important input so we looked at oh yes so we need to do that and uh, when we looked at it we also said we need to look at preferably uh, a rural project and if a uh, targeted employment area project is there then that will be the best because if both are there then uh, the probability of even getting the green card is faster so that's why we thought let's keep that into account there was another uh, hydrogen green uh, uh, green hydrogen project we looked at that was very attractive there's no doubt about it the returns of the project was fantastic but there is one important aspect which nowhere in the document i could find was the whole project viability was based only on the government incentive if the government incentive is withdrawn the project was not viable so i am also coming from the refining industry i know what hydrogen is and uh, the green hydrogen so then uh, we realized that uh, we had a chat with them and then uh, the government can change more government policy can change so in which case the whole project is gone and it's a eight year window we need to have so the risk was too high and we are not sure about uh, uh, even getting the green card successfully so we dropped that so finally we zero on only two one is that we zero on straight on uh, eb fan uh, see one important aspect is that we saw this uh, sam was very impressed let me tell you that see you won't believe i just sent the email and uh, when i got his references and he responded with an alarm and uh, we in fact fixed a time the time was very odd time for because i was at that time in india for me it was evening late evening but uh, he kept the time and uh, i found him uh, very upfront open and we had almost an hour discussion uh, then i also looked at the company performance they started in 2013 and had been successful about eight project plus they were already on and uh, he he explained the projects and he also explained everything Uh, like uh, I, I said, I was very new. I don't know much, so that way, uh, the way he paints, he paints that made me. Uh, I had also seen others, so from there, then I realized this is a man whom I can trust. Somewhere, that's a judgment I have. Uh, see, I'm a basically a chairman. I interview hundreds of thousands of people, so that's something which I felt because this man is trustworthy. There's something that he really got from his, the in responses and the way. He contacted him. So what he did, no, he said, no, this cannot be done, or this cannot be assured because it's not a guarantee. There's no guarantee of return at all anywhere. So then, uh, so I had zero on EB fine, and then to go with Sam, and then Sam suggested the return to Naitha, and uh, I also we had, in fact, I had five rounds of chat with Naitha, uh, two three rounds myself, and one with my brother also. He was a Indian U.S. citizen. And uh, we, uh, she was fantastic in the sense that the kind of knowledge she had and knowledge experience. These two are very important. Knowledge and experience. The most important are attitude towards the client. And she was willing to uh, pick up the phone for any time to answer any query. And uh, so that way we formed a very good. So so while we decided to go with Sam, then we also decided to go with Naitha. and one of the important aspect which i was looking at is her understanding of uh, the psyche of uh, indian investors because she is also basically from india and she is also of course settled in us and the most important aspect is that she was aware about nigerian uh, income tax laws because i work in nigeria so i i earn and i pay taxes here so the, it's important for the attorney to know the nigerian uh, tax uh, laws so that she can relate so with that we went with the anaita and then we also took some of her views about different uh, projects about her experience also then we looked at uh, the, the two projects one was in washington uh, it's a it's a luxury apartment project the other one was the twin lake project uh, both were attractive the other one was also very attractive because the phase one of the uh, the luxury project had fully sold out it was doing very well phase two then we found phase two nothing was there. yet to start it's absolutely ground breaking Whereas here, uh, the Twin Lake project was already 440 homes sold out, and it is already uh, ahead in terms of the project implementation. So, looking at both, then uh, we also did some research in terms of questions about how this uh, 
Washington Quantum is a company, a good company, but in terms of this uh, uh, particular project phase one, what are the issues? Because it's a reality rental. And we found there were a lot of uh, questions about uh, uh, various issues, complaints somewhere there, and some, and a lot of availability was there. So when a lot of availability was there, so suppose phase two, we don't know what will happen. So risk is high. So then we zero, zero down straight on Finlay, which is basically what we found out is a lot of, it's a, it's a, it's a small uh, homes are targeted uh, for people who retire and who want to, to uh, move and uh, settle there so that uh, they can live comfortably with the lesser investment and they can live happy with the community. Only 440 uh, homes are sold out. And so with this, we this is zeroed on uh, the uh, Twin Lake project. So we selected uh, EBF and Sam, Naida, and the Twin Lake project. So that's how we went, went through. And uh, one of the important aspects was that we wanted to be sure about the green card. One thing last year, September, we found out uh, that uh, the, uh, the Kotler was a very important aspect in this. Kotler does not have a single project not completed and not one loan repayment not done. So everything was been done. They are one of the top five private home builders uh, in the uh, United States and uh, had an excellent reputation of, uh, we started, I think, from like 1997, I remember, and built over 20,000 homes. So reputation was impeccable. So that is something which, because it's more of a, it's not a loan, it's an equity investment, we have preferred equity investment. So we decided uh, to uh, go by the uh, reputation of the builder. That is something very important. So that is uh, what the clincher. And once we decided to go ahead, we, we went on to finalize. Thank you. That was a that was a great summary. Can you can you before we talk more about the project, can you share a little bit more about your experience with the immigration attorney? You know, did you did you speak with other attorneys before you decided to hire Anita, or did you just hire her? You know, once you'd spoken with her, and how was the process? You know, working with her once you hired her to complete the application. Anita was the fifth attorney we spoke to, and. Uh, the other uh, three were uh, um, actually they were all uh, basically American attorneys, and uh, two of them are, are very familiar with Indian context. And I was one of them. And uh, from the responses, because the what the detail to which they, I see we also the it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a literally exchange of views, and the kind of question they also asked me. Uh, me. I found that her questions were pointed. She wanted to know specifically uh, the background, income source. So with all that, then the confidence it generated was fine. And she was willing to talk anytime. That also we checked up with others also. So she gave a WhatsApp number and we had some query. He sent on message. She was responding. And I also requested, can I have a call with another my brother? Because my brother has been there. I just thought as a reference point, it would be useful. We also had a call with him. And then... Uh, so everything went off very well. All, everybody and my wife also felt uh, uh, she seems to be very confident and uh, very clear. She is very, very uh, sharp. That's what we could see. So with that, we went ahead with her. And uh, all through, I should tell that she was always sharp. Sharp in the sense that even when we had to uh, uh, give her documents, she was sharp. She was always uh, uh, not accepting anything just like that, one of the mill. Okay. Every document she looked at, she will ask why, why, and sometimes some may even feel irritated. But I, I didn't feel irritated. I thought she's doing only for good. She used to tell me, but others uh, feel that she's asking too many questions. It's, 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 but I said no, it's only for our good because she wanted, she wanted to do everything correct, so that no questions, uh, no stones are unturned when the USCIS uh, looks at the documents, which are most important. They want everything to be done uh, perfectly and uh, investment coming from the correct sources and uh, so they wanted everything to be linked i even uh, was planning to uh, in fact I, I sold my house in fact that was one of my integral part of my investment also so i sold the house uh, last year just before the deciding that is sometime in uh, month of august i had uh, taken a loan for the house so city bank loan clearance document everything was there I repaid loan everything fine and um, the, the money uh, I got was also everything through bank, everything fine. But she asked, Anahita asked me questions about, okay, you took this in 2000, 
we so how did you take it where is the income source bank documents at that time showing repayment so so i then i realized that oh the it's not going to be that simple and uh, i didn't want to get delay so then i said okay let's drop that completely uh, because that's a thing which uh, she was also say we need to have everything perfect otherwise you could have problem so data the ula question she said you should avoid queries you should avoid data questions so if, if the documents are perfect then you not you not any questions so then i dropped that and i decided to do it totally from my salary uh, which uh, which i could uh, make it that's what happened and uh, then uh, other important aspect is the taxation because she said uh, this was no attorney let me tell you of uh, the four though we did have a very detailed chat talk about taxation and the uh, the clear and what kind of requirement uh, when they initially started whereas anaita right from uh, the second meeting she kept asking about that so that was an issue for me because i uh, last year i was in india then uh, then i realized uh, that I, uh, i need to get all the taxation uh, certificate from uh, nigeria the tax returns and the proof proof everything so then had to come back to i am that's why i'm i'm now in nigeria I'm back in lagos and uh, so i could get all the documents there are a lot of issues because nigeria has its own setup so we do have uh issue so then uh, so anaita is what that way was very uh, uh, proactive in terms of understanding and she also got some uh, input from kpmg and uh, so finding the documents that's fine so with that then she was fine and uh, so documentation was the key that's what i could understand and uh, she was perfect and she was also assisted by her colleague uh, nick and both of them were very good and uh, so that's how that's been the experience and we let me tell you we completed the documentation when the just the day we uh, aditya sent the, the investment money because the previous day still there still one remittance of mine which was to be back uh, last remittance so then i had to get that uh, certificate from the company that was remitted so that's a do- last document and with that she said it's everything is perfect so so that's uh, been the a uh, journey so far so we have filed it and uh, anaita i should give full credit to her because she has given a lot of confidence and uh, i think we have uh, there's not no stone unturned i think all the documents perfect every dollar is accounted every dollar is traced so that's how it is and i understand the project is also doing well the twin lake project is doing but they sold more homes recently that's a good news and uh, so that's where we are now Great, thank, thank, thank you, Mohan. Um, let's let let's shift topics a little bit and chat a little bit more about about the project itself. I know you mentioned you you evaluated some other projects as well, um, but looking looking just at Twin Lakes, what were some of the most important things for you when when you evaluated the Twin Lakes project? What was kind of you know these are the four or five most important things that I that I really like about about this project. See the first one is uh, the builder reputation. Of course, any uh, reality development, anyone who is going to buy home is going to first look at the reputation of the person promoting the project. So the reputation of uh, the promote, which is uh, good, that's first one. Second one, the project itself, a project it was, and looking at the uh, macroeconomic indicators and the uh, the economy cycle it was going to. So it was very clear that the interest region was going up, and uh, so people will move away from luxury. So we, the second one was looking at the project which uh, will be able to sell because unless they sell, uh, they cannot complete the project successfully. So that so from the market viability of the project, that's, that's one. Third is in terms of uh, uh, the where it is because we wanted a rural and a TA project because that's how you can ensure that uh, you get the green card quicker and. Uh, So that is an important aspect. Then uh, other one is that the see we we also wanted to join a project which is already ongoing, which was doing it was already on a path. What path? So that also fulfilled. That was already taken off. And uh, uh, the most important aspect is they have already created the jobs. The jobs for all the investors are created already, and uh, that was the most important. Uh, so that is when you. Start the game itself. We already have the coin uh, in the pot. We already taken it out because uh, the which means that the green card is almost is assured because they already created the 
the employment required for that. So that was a very important aspect. So these are the uh, four uh, aspects which we looked at, and uh, that made us go for the Twill Lake project. Got it. Got it. Um, in 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 terms of in terms of the regional center in this case EB five AN, you know how how did how did that decision to go in a project with EB five AN versus you know some of the other regional centers what what was the difference there that made you feel comfortable you know sure Twin Lakes is a good project but what made you feel comfortable that you know you wanted the EB five part of your process to be kind of managed by by EB five AN. I had, we had actually looked at uh, other regional centers and uh, the EB5 and were very transparent. Most, uh, one of the most important thing was to look at is you looked at the, who are the promoters, who are the people behind. They were all highly educated, very, uh, ex, I mean, very good background, excellent pedigree. And uh, all that translated when we interacted, for example, Sam and even his colleagues, when we interacted, very professional and they were, open they were able to share what uh, what all can be shared and they were able to give us opinions they also have excellent repository of data so we could look into a lot of uh, the data even to including testimonials including but different projects even the dropbox gave all the information they gave everything up from subscription problem and everything they had seen in advance and uh, so at every stage uh, we had any doubt we could call and that was answerable so and uh, most important thing is that uh, Sam at clearly event, I was, I was all through asking how is the project going, how are they sold, everything. So he used to get reports, okay, last month they sold this, this month they sold this. So these are something which means that they are in track of what it, how it was going. And uh, all that uh, made a very big difference in terms of building the confidence. Uh, so that's the reason why eb 5 uh, what we chose was fantastic. And uh, I would anyway recommend it's very important. One important point is that there was some, one of the uh, other uh, real center recommended me the energy project. But the problem is that it is dependent on total incentive. They never said the negative. Despite me asking, despite me asking, I had several rounds. Finally, I had to tell them this is an issue. They agreed. They never told open. So that is dangerous because ultimately, we are here a lifetime savings and uh, savings are there and we need to one is get a green card and ensure a capital is safe and here is a uh, the bigger center which was transparent it was open in fact uh, sam was clear there were guarantees but we can we will help you to select that's what we will help you uh, to take a decision you have to take a decision so that was very good on the other hand there's the other ones you do this you do this this is very good for you and most important one thing is that uh, they didn't tell the fact that it is uh, fully based on the government incentive. And finally, when is the reason I'm not going with it, they accepted yes, don't tell others. Is what they said. Got it. So that's why EB5 AN uh, is uh, we, uh, one of the best uh, uh, among the eight or ten we evaluated. We looked at the, the ranking and based on that only we went with. And uh, we found they're very comfortable, we're happy, and that's where we are. Got it. Got it. Thank, thank you, Mohan. That's that that that's really helpful, and 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 we appreciate that endorsement. Um, would you, you know, now looking kind of into the yes, future? I'm, I'm not telling you for saying. I mean, what I'm telling you. I know. I know. I know. I understand. Um, and and we, I really, I personally really appreciate that. Um, that that's just really crucial to you know the experience that we want all of our clients to have. Um, there's no way to eliminate risk completely in any of these investments, but you know we do want you to be aware of all the positives and the negatives, um, so that you can really understand and evaluate, you know, and have the whole picture. Um, that that's just really critical. Um, I guess looking lo looking to the future, you know, having just gone through this investment process yourself, what what advice would you have for other other families, you know, like you that are looking to, you know, make their um, you know, provide for their families to have a, a stronger future in the U.S. What What are some kind of general thoughts that you would you would have that you'd want to share with other investors who are you know considering doing doing an EB five investment? What I would advise is first 
So seeing the first, you have to be clear what is the investment you have. And uh, we will come to as you uh, move on that every dollar has to be accounted. So you need to be fat, check your do the homework thoroughly about your investment, who is wasting. So that is the homework we'll have to do. And uh, next most important thing is look at the options in terms of uh, the regional centers, like what uh, we went through. I think so you, anyone can go through and uh, uh, choose the one which is uh, most uh, reliable in your opinion and uh, look at the projects. So because both the regional center and the projects are very, very important. Good regional center and good project, both are important. So the projects are ultimately most critical. So look at the projects, look at the macroeconomic indicators. See, I also looked at the hotel project, but we didn't go through because uh, the during pandemic time, there's a change in trend, Airbnb, hotels were also not uh, doing well. So uh, the, the, when the high of uh, subfront investment hotels are required for them to generate low revenues. So there, there are issues. So that's why we decided not to. So we need to look at that. Whereas sometime uh, ago, maybe five, eight years ago, hotels were good projects. So depends upon economic conditions. And also look at uh, the other one also. There was on the commercial development projects so we looked at. But uh, that was, uh, again, at a time when uh, there was pandemic, there were a lot of uh, issues were there. So we realized that also we didn't go with. So finally, we went ahead. We went ahead with the reality project, which we thought uh, was good. So we need to look at the project viability thoroughly into all questions, all aspects. We need to do, do a thorough uh, check, background check about who's promoting the project, whichever be the whether it's a hotel, whether it's a reality, and that is very important. So, so that also goes a long way to ensure that uh, you are on the right track. So all these are important, and. Uh, and one more important thing, what I did is that uh, we maintained one Excel sheet. First, when we looked at everything, whether regional centers, we looked at all the parameters we wanted and we compared. So with all the projects we put on a sheet, then we put a weightage, we compared. So finally, uh, we all took a decision, looked at it slowly. Uh, that's how we did it. So objectively, we value it. So you also need to keep that in mind. Just don't go by hands or someone, document everything. Don't trust anyone. You put everything, check yourself. Uh, I was almost misled by my friend because he did not uh, finally go ahead with the project and that project had huge risk. I really, uh, it's, I really thank God that uh, that did happen. And finally, so you have to invest your time. You have to take part yourself. No, uh, no question of giving to someone. So that was a big lesson I learned. So I spent a lot of time on this and ultimately it's your money and you need to take care and you need to ensure that the green card is also there and the capital comes back. So you need to fully involve, no choice there. You cannot delegate or outsource that. You have to involve, uh, your family has to involve, and that's where we can succeed.